Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I'm the R Ingenious, but I'm Eric, and we left off in Chesterfield Station. We um, talked to this station master, he's quite a drunk, and at the time of the disappearance of the train, he was shit as drunk, he doesn't remember a thing, he is not trustworthy. And um, we broke into his place over here, there were dirty, um, there were, were muddy tools that looked like they could be used to do some shenanigans with the railroads and um, we're gonna talk to this guy now and ask him about those tools hey dude those tools are very suspicious what do you say you have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here ah yes well thank you for reminding me I should clean them although it might be easier to put them outside seems it might start raining soon I meant what were they used for some workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line, so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink, <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. Boy. You, my friend, are in trouble. Do we get a clue about that? Uh, do we get a clue about that? Spare parts. Uh, why don't you do anything with that information, Sherlock Holmes? Why? Why? Alright, we're gonna... We also found a broken down hand car. Is that a hand car? What's a hand car? Seriously, is it a hand car? It's a hand car. A broken down hand car. We're gonna re reassemble those parts so we can do a little experiment. Cause we saw a train, or or we saw lights, and we saw what looked like a train in the the evening evening of the disappearance. But was it really a train? Was it? We're gonna find out. But to do that, we gotta assemble those parts. We got stuff. And we're gonna do that right now. And that's gonna be good. I do like me my experiments. Are you gonna load this area in? Yeah, thanks. Didn't think that was gonna take too long. Alright, we already found a couple of parts, so we're just gonna go to those and uh, see what those got. Over here, there were a bunch of spare parts. I'll take all those. I'll take the bell. Locomotive bell. I'll take the. This part is probably from a locomotive. This part is. You're being real clever right now. This part is probably from a locomotive. You are being extraordinarily clever right now. You don't know anything about the entire parts. Entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. I am not amazed. I am very unhappy. Bridlington, did they have parts for the hand car? These look like they belong to a more locomotive, not a hand car. What are you talking about? Fear, fear. Crime and punishment. Alright, around this corner there was a bunch of stuff in here. But that door does not open. This one does. There was stuff in here or wasn't there? Yeah, there's stuff, but I don't care about that stuff. Luggage. Waiting. Little house. Are you being serious right now? Are, are we being serious right now? What's my task called? The dismantled handcar seems directly connected to our mystery. Let's reconstruct the handcar to see if it can imitate the vanished train. Are you saying I should t should have talked to it twice? Because if that's what you're gonna say, then I'm gonna be bullshitting you. It that that's not cool. Because why didn't you do that immediately? See, now I had to go through three loading zones for no good reason. 
He does not like to be, like, he does not seem to be interested in that book at all. And they don't like to talk either. That's, uh, interesting. Okay, let's, I guess, click on that again. I guess that's what it's going to tell me. We'll go back, go up front here. You go back there. Kidding me right now, right? You go here. Come on, give me the re wheel. Put it right here. Thank you. We are going to need one of those. No. Small gear. Small gear. Hand mechanism. I'm going to go up here. Going to need some small gears in here. Going to need one of... Uh, One, uh, one of those two down here. The brakes, where are those going to go? Brake joints over here. Okay, fair. Anything else I need? We got brakes. We got a mechanism. We good. Right? I should base. use the appropriate object here. Oh. We don't have that yet. Really? Wow, that was hard to see. Okay. So, now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Be patient, Watson. I haven't finished yet. Try using your imagination. Our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. So let's imagine. Headlight, steam whistle are still missing. That's what you're going to say. So we want a headlight and, and a steel missile. What? Fire extinguisher? A long pole. Train spare parts. Steam whistle, nice, and headlight. That was a bottle of scotch. Let's imagine this again. Fake train, place, long pole, connect headlight, install steam whistle. The long pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. Yeah. The headlight is attached. The steam whistle is now connected. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my dear Watson. We shall need a fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher. Now, let us see what we have here. First of all, let us pump the pressure inside the extinguisher. The steam whistle is ready to be used. What kind of weird-ass fire extinguisher is that? You pump that with your hand? What? Okay, battery. Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So, such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Huh. At any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surroundings. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. I bet. The massive archive. Okay, let's do some conclusions. We got a fake train and a special wagon. No, and a spare and their spare car parts. 
to go down here vanished earlier. The train never reached Evesham. It uh, disappeared earlier and was faked by somebody using a handcar and spare train parts from Chesterfield Station. Whoa. Look at you. Okay, meaning I don't want I, I don't want to go in there. But I do want to talk to our driver here. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Huh? What? Oh, that's a lake. Are you gonna do this to me, game? You gonna do this? Fucking scrolling? Oh, you shithead! Ah. Uh, very carefully. I'm gonna be a train whistle in a second. Here it is. Uh. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham Station. <sighs> okay, that kind of got me frustrated for a second there. I'm sorry. Examine the railway switch. Is Examine e Evesham Railway Branch. Okay, I, I think I'm going to do this down here first. Because that's where we'll... We'll find the, the hand car that was used, I think. Not that that thing went by us, but they've got to get it somewhere, right? Down over here. Let's look at that. That branching path. You. No hand car, but hey, dude, I'm concentrating. Is there literally no thing? Multiple traces, ah, wheel traces, heavy vehicle traces. Traces. Let's take a closer look. Those look like they are from a horse. What? Oh, what are we measuring? Are we measuring this? Nothing interesting here. We measuring this? Nothing interesting here. Are we measuring this? Nothing interesting here. This? The distance between the tracks is about six feet seven inches. Okay. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Cool, very interesting. What's this about? That's good. A bunch of stuff, remains there of a building. Was a building here not so long ago. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? It was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? Well, well, well. Is there nothing special about that? Doesn't seem like it. What about this thing? Why were there tracks in that direction? And if the vehicle went this way, what's back here? We want to follow the road? Is there anything over here? That doesn't
doesn't look like it. This road should lead to the town of Evesham. This road should lead to the town of Evesham. Well, then let's go. Those tracks look like they like they disappear into thin air down there too. So there's tracks that lead into Evesham. Do we get anything out of this? A special wagon? No. Hmm. Hmm, I guess I'm gonna leave it at that for the moment. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? Elementary, Mr. Watson. All right, doesn't seem to be much here. Let's ask the station master, uh, master about the building that used to be there. It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station and that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. Why would anyone want to? Hmm. Well, to See build... You later, my good man. How about building a new railway track into the quarry, huh? Well... That's a reason to steal that bunch of stuff. That's the switch and that's the quarry. Uh, where would that switch be? Ah, it's it's its own um, its own area. Well, this wasn't. This did not take a long time loading. So that is our switch. The switch is rusted, but it still works. We don't want the next train to go that way. What's that stuff? I don't know any weird tracks here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. What's over in this direction? Okay, that's fear. I guess we're walking around like this. But that way is probably going to lead me into opening the map too. Oh, there's tracks. This route goes in the same direction as the railway. You don't want to go anywhere, do you? Hmm. Well, what would we find down here? Oh, there's got to, they've got to be hiding something here. It's kind of getting on my nerves. There doesn't appear to be anything interesting apart from the information that that switch still works, huh? Doesn't look like it. Do we get that information? The switch works? No. Guess I'll come back here later. I guess. Kind of a bummer though. Okay, let's check out this third, this fourth station. Find out what the special wagon was carrying. We did that already. Examine the side railway branch that begins at the railway switch. Well, we did that a second ago, but that didn't work. Oh well, let's just let's just go to the station. 
But before we examine anything here, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Until then, bye bye.